What item is now so expensive the price surprises you every time you buy it? I'm old enough to remember when ramen was pack of 10, one dollar. I remember when a 10 pound bag of potatoes was a dollar. And it wasn't that long ago. Getting something framed. It's always way more insanely priced than I remember. As a truck driver, I no longer eat any meal out of a truck stop restaurant anymore. A T-bone steak dinner at the Petro cost almost $40 out the door after taxes and a tip. I was able to justify investing in a vacuum sealer, a Dometic 12-volt fridge freezer, and a Gas One camping stove. All in all, my total initial cost to start saving more money has been almost one kere to prep my own food, and I'm going to make all of it back after three or four months if I just cut the restaurants out of my budget entirely. I've also found that brewing your own tea or coffee and using drink mixes cuts back on costs significantly seeing as a bottle of Gatorade costs like $3.45. Old Subway commercial was $5 foot long, $15 foot long doesn't quite have the same jingle to it. And they used to have the point system that when you reached like 75 points, you would get a free foot long. Now you need, I think, 200 points for $2 off. Looked at a magazine while standing in the grocery store checkout. Magazine was $15. I work in retail and we sell magazines. I honestly don't know how magazines still exist. No one buys them, ever. They all just get counted and thrown away when the new issues arrive. Obviously, they rely on ads for revenue. But how much can you charge for Addy space if no one is buying your magazine? I just don't get it. Potato chips. I've lost 10 pounds. My doctor says that inflation is the best thing that could have happened to me. No joke. Concert tickets. I mean, I don't buy them anymore, but when I go to buy them, I don't. I usually don't brag about owning expensive things, but I just left the grocery store. Edit. Typo. Although as someone pointed out, the original word owing works too. Olive oil. I bought a pack of Mentos at the grocery store, and it was $2.35. I'm so old. Went to buy those small black runner bands for your hair and couldn't find any under $4. They used to be 99 cents. Peanut butter was $9 yesterday. One of the larger GIF jars, but I remember them being like $5 the last time. Soda. A 12-pack on sale is $6. I remember buying full cases for that price, pre-pandemic. And if it's a Coke product, it's even worse. Walmart all 12 packs of brand name soda is $7.48 around here. Eight fucking dollars. Cat food. I've watched our dog food go from $25 to $32, $35 a bag this past year. It's crazy. Just groceries. We used to be able to fill a cart to the brim with 200, 250 euros. Now it's cheap if we can fill half a cart for that price. Post-pandemic inflation is crazy. My grocery budget almost doubled. Bleach. 2019, it was 0.99 a gal. Now it's over $6 a gallon in most places. Dollar Tree was a dollar gallon. Now it is 1.25 for 3.4 gallon. That is a nearly 70% price increase. Deodorant, it's over $8. I went to an event that was sponsored by P&G and received about eight full-size deodorant sticks for free. Felt like I had won the lottery. Razor blades, what the hell? You would think these are individually forged by hand by master craftsmen. Edit. The only cartridge blades I now buy are for my wife. I've grown a beard and use wall clippers for both my noggin and face. For the most part, I use a Braun Electric to trim and tidy. Mr. Neckbeard is not attractive to Mrs. Maverick. McDonald's. I mean, it's cheap compared to other things, but now it's just as expensive as Wendy's or any other fast food joint. Edit. I'm Canadian. It's about $14 after tax for a Big Mac combo at my local McDonald's. I went to make a birthday cake for my father-in-law and realized my vanilla bean paste, the good stuff, Nelson Massey, expired in 2018, so it was probably time for a new one. It still had a Williams Sonoma price tag on it for $12.95. I went back to Williams Sonoma for a new one, $36. Baby formula, horribly expensive. Apparently it's the most commonly shoplifted item. So sad. This one caught us off guard for sure. Formula is worse than diapers, and the shortages made it even worse. Lunch meat. We used to live on cold cuts in school in IDK how my mom would feed us if they were priced what they are today. Chicken, especially wings. Used to make wings at least once every football season, but didn't this year. Used to eat chicken multiple times a week, only about once per week now. Car batteries. I bought one back in 2017 for like $125. Bought one back in November, and my eyes almost popped out of my head. 
and I have a smaller and shittier car now, lol. Costco for car batteries. $80, $130 for most cars. Mine was $120. Interstate brand W, three-year warranty at Costco versus $239 at AutoZone. Frozen French fries. $7 for a regular 32-ounce bag of Oridas. Now I'm like, hey kids, let's make our own French fries. They'll taste much better because we made them with love. Honestly, fucking everything. This isn't really an answer, but I remember growing up in the 90s with a single mother who worked at a coffee shop in a casino and still managed to feed us. I'm now in my 30s with a wife, two kids, and a six-figure salary. And some weeks I'm still wondering how the fuck I'm affording these groceries. Coffee. I hate feeling guilty for getting my little drinky drink, but I spent $7 on a latte two days ago. Cheap hotels and restaurants. With the cheapest meals available, it costs $200 per day to travel alone now, and that's staying in fleabag hotels, where being robbed if I go outside is a real possibility. Cat litter. Seriously, $50 for a bag of smelly good sand? Baby formula. A small can of hypoallergenic formula is $37 or else. My seven-month-old goes through multiple cans per week. I pay more for my baby's formula per week than I do groceries for me and my husband. Fast food in general. Five Guys and McDonald's specifically. How is the price of a burger, fries, and a Coke the same as a full-service sit-down restaurant? A house. I recognize this is different than every time you buy it, but whenever I casually browse houses for sale in my area, I think to myself, how does anyone these days ever save up enough to even pay a 10% down payment, let alone pay the mortgage with interest rates these days? I don't drink pop, I don't eat meat, I don't eat chips, but I used to years ago and the prices are shocking now. I just bought some protein bars, and when I was putting them away, I came across a long forgotten one from the same company that somehow got lost in the pantry. I swear it was one three bigger than the new ones for the same price. Blank steak. People discovered the gem and now it's expensive. Best way to buy meat now is to buy whole sections and process them yourself. Canned tuna. The cheaper stuff tastes like crap. And why do they put a picture of a cat on it? I saw a meme about how decent trash cans are shockingly expensive. And it's so true. I thought about getting a new one because mine is a little beat up. The metal ones are like $100 minimum. Yes, like Jesus. Unless you get a cheap plastic one, it's gonna cost at least $70. My jaw dropped when I was looking for a new one. Quarts of motor oil. $850, that's almost 35 a gallon. Buffalo wings, bone in. Invented as a way to make use of a useless and thus cheap part of a chicken. Now it's like buying ribs or a quality steak. Most produce, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, mushrooms, etc. Only bananas, onions, and potatoes go up in price slower. Thank God for bananas and potatoes because they're still filling. Potato chips. They've at least doubled in price within the last 18 months. Cell phones are insanely expensive. When the hell did a cell phone cost the same as a brand new PC? Fast food. My last trip to Subway for a foot long on the series menu with a bag of chips and a soda set me back $16. I'm so happy I carry coupons with me nowadays when I go to McDonald's and spend $50. Oat milk, I can't have dairy milk and am allergic to tree nuts, coconut. So almost all of the alternatives are a no-go. It is $11 a carton for Chobani now. I'm considering getting a machine that you can make alt milks with. It will pay for itself pretty quickly and I can avoid the stabilizers and other additives. I literally cry every time I go to the grocery. I have to decide on food for my very picky autistic child or gas to go to a job interview. It seems that every time I go, the items I usually buy each time have gone up at least 30%. I need the job to continue buying groceries, but I need the food to feed my child right now. I will definitely buy her food without question, and I will survive on crackers and peanut butter. At least gas prices have remained lower than normal, and I could lose a few pounds anyways. But damn it, man. Butter. I usually love to bake, but that butter adds up in price. My usual stupid of Starbucks order. It's the only remaining coffee shop open post-pandemic near my work. Sue me. Quad shot gingerbread latte with oat milk, 16 ounce. Came up to 10 fucking dollars last week. $10 for one drink. Can't justify that. Yellow and red peppers. They are never on sale for $2.50 for one pepper. Sex acts from legitimate sex workers. Hard to find quality, tested, verified, clean, not sketchy setting, for under $250 an hour. 
pre-pandemic, it was 150, 175 in my area. Thanks, Obama. I live in the States. Midwest, just ordered delivery from Domino's. Two large pizzas. No sides or drinks. $75 after tipping. Just a year or two ago, I could have sworn the same purchase was upper 40s. Inflation's crazy. Honestly, it feels like every single thing has become an overpriced scam and it's made me jaded. I've cut all my subscriptions, stopped gaming, started going out less, found someone to split rent with, switched gyms, thrifted clothing, household items, and started grocery shopping at Aldi just to cut costs everywhere I can. I no longer go to concerts or sporting events because of ticket intermediaries, skimming extra dollars off the top of ticket prices. I'm simply tired of price increases and the constant stresses of trying to keep up with the jacked up cost of living here. I say this as someone who is blessed to have a steady career in a good field. Everything is about money and nothing is about quality. I'm not surprised by it because I work in the store that sells it, but people sure as fuck get shocked by the price of a gallon of house paint for some reason. Everyone seems to think they're about to spend like $20 USD, but nope. Depending on the grade of paint you choose, you're spending more like $60, $80 on that gallon of wall paint. First class airline tickets. Basically everything in the US. I moved to Japan a couple years ago. There's various reasons I don't want to go back, but how expensive everything is, is a big one. I make a salary close to the poverty line here, and I'm still able to live in relative comfort and ease. Eating out barely costs more than cooking at home. My monthly rent as someone who lives alone is around half of what each of us were paying when I lived with six roommates during university. Cigarettes, seriously, $10 a goddamn pack. $18 in Canada, can't even let me get cancer in peace. I spent $22 today buying stuff to make some grilled cheese and tomato soup. Four items, bread, tomatoes, butter, and two kinds of cheese. It was delicious, but WTF, I can't afford to be poor. New tires can't get a set of decent tires for under 1 KOs anymore. Dog food. A 40-pound bag that will last about a month is over $60. Groceries in the USA. I'm living abroad in Europe right now, and you'd think everything would be more expensive, but besides gas, everything is cheaper, especially groceries. When eggs were like $11 per carton, I was still getting them for 2 euros for 18. Meat is cheaper and better regulated, and most produce, at least here, is all from local farmers. Berries and cashews. I've basically stopped buying both because I can't justify it. Bags of potato chips or corn chips, like Doritos. Like 5.69? Bro, corn is subsidized by the United States government. Even if you wanted to argue, oh, that's because of increased costs due to inflation. That isn't even remotely close to what the price should be. I am Canadian for what it matters. But honestly, I can't think of anything that doesn't stick or shock me these days. Everything has gotten so insanely expensive that it's hard to survive on what once was a wage I could only dream of making. Cold cuts. The boar's head turkey that was on sale for $6.99 a pound a few years ago is now $16.99. It goes on sale for $12.99 a pound, maybe once every couple months. Berries and cashews. I've basically stopped buying both because I can't justify it. Olive oil. My country is the primary exporter of olive oil in the world and a 75 millennial now costs almost 10 or where it used to go around two. Soup, considered poverty food, even the poor can afford it anymore. Now, to think Campbell's thinks it's okay to charge nearly $2 for a can of salt water, 12 noodles and two pieces of chicken is insulting. Don't get me started on its tomato soup, which is the cheapest soup per cost to the company they're demanding a clearly price gouged amount for. People were pretty happy about the many trillions of dollars printed and given away during the pandemic. Guess what? Massive inflation. This also happened during the 2008-2009 Great Financial Crisis. Fed prints trillions, and prices soar several years later. Bottle of water in the restaurant. Pet foods and pet accessories. Prices doubled tripled since 2020, and dry kibble pack sizes got smaller but pricier. I now mix with real canned tuna sardines mince, which is cheaper than pet foods. Retailers used COVID, then the Ukraine war gas prices as a ploy to cite raw ingredient shortages. Yet pet food prices are still sky high. BBQ. There was a time I could get a huge plate of pulled pork for $3. Now it's closer to $15. Absolute madness. Gasoline. It's way more expensive than it should be. 
And really, shouldn't we be at the point of using a flying car that doesn't need gas, but rather uses renewable power by now? I literally just came from Walmart to buy one of those boxes of day-old Krispy Kreme donuts. Tell me why that cashier scanned that box and said, 1827. Looked at the screen and sure enough that MF said, 1827 for the Krispy Kreme dozen donuts. The label wasn't even incorrect. That was the posted price. Laundry and home cleaning products. I feel like you just add one of those items to your groceries and the cost goes above a hundred bucks. Without fail. Apples. Like, WTF, there's like a million of them rotting on the ground. But no, they want five stars for an apple here. Fucking toothbrush heads for ultrasonic toothbrushes. The toothbrush itself is $100, but the heads being like $25, $35 for a two-pack. Do you know how many regular toothbrushes I could buy for that? Also, special shout-out to Chips. I will now only buy store brand chips at Kroger if they're less than $3. Large box of goldfish crackers is like 11 bucks. They used to be $5 to $6. Eggs. Used to pay 3-4 bucks for a 30-egg carton a few years ago. Now they are 8 to 10 bucks. Had to cut back from free range to regular to save a bit. I went to my local fancy burger joint. Two burgers with a lot with fries. Drink combo was $65. On public holiday too, which was 15% extra. I saw onions for $5 each a couple of weeks ago. Onions are one of the poor man's food. WTF? Restaurant food. Alas, I actually don't buy since I prepare 99% of my food. But here and there, I need to be social, and I partake in food out. And not only is it crazy expensive, but often, the quality is not there. And if there's quality, the quantity is laughable. A dental cleaning for my puppies at the vet. It used to be between $100 and $200, and now it's usually around $1K plus per dog. And I have four of them, and it needs to be done annually. Yikes. Food truck food now costs as much or even more than a sit-down restaurant. Ramen noodles. Last time I saw them selling one cup for $3. They used to be a few cents each back in the days. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our other interesting videos. Living with a dishwasher for 10 years and never knew it. And what poor food is now expensive to eat? Don't miss these unique stories and intriguing insights. We look forward to seeing you in our next videos.